It's time to carry the stupids. TBHS underscore two. Come on down in your STRV M slash 42 dash 57 alt A dot two. That Swedish tank. What kind of a stupid name is that? For a Swedish tank, no less. I've seen lots of Swedish things in my time, but never something so stupid as that. I've gone to Ikea, I've bought bookshelves, and couches and lamps, and they have simple names like Gotham and Blinkden. But for some reason, this tank has a really stupid name. So why not use it in this episode of Carrie the Stupids? I forgot to tell you how this game works. This is a long intro, so I have time. You must kill more enemies than your whole team combined and win the match. And then you will have carried the stupid. Now we've let you load into the game late because you have a shit computer. So you are stuck at the spawn behind this house. <laughs> it will be harder for you to carry the stupid since four of your teammates are already dead. Ha ha ha! In your stupid Swedish tank with the dumb name that no one can remember. Uh, oh yes, and let me introduce to you the idiot that does the commentary but never helps with the intros. Uh, Mr. Klaus Tellerman. Uh, thanks, Bob. Um, you certainly are taking your artistic liberties uh, with those intros, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's why you're here, Bob, for the the contrast in styles. Always, uh, you know, what's what would the world be without variety? But uh, I guess uh, Bob kind of uh, mentioned the whole, you know, how it works and everything here. It's another episode of Carry the Stupids, and you know how it works. Our contestant here. What is his name? Uh, TBHS underscore two. In order to win this episode, in order to carry the stupids, he must get more kills than his whole team combined and win the game. Not one on its own. Not just more kills. Not just win the game. He must do both. And uh, like Bob mentioned, he loaded in late because, well, uh, a lot of people are loading in late now since patch 1.0 because there's more demands on the computers and he may not have the greatest system. And he has he is loaded in late, but he has, alas, finally made his mark in this game. He has gotten one kill. And it, it, it's four, it's five, five. So he has one kill and it's five, five. It's 10 versus 10. He is kind of stuck at the spawn here. Because when you load in late, it's hard to just scoot away and not get detected. And he was already detected and he hid behind this house. So he and his platoon mate, you notice he has a platoon mate there, in the same silly tank. This STRV, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. That's probably the conversation they had when they decided what to call this thing. And uh, now he's scooting across the field, and luckily it is his teammate that's getting hit and not him. His teammate is taking the hits, his teammate is dead, and he scoots across into safety. In <laughs> this Swedish thing, which is not very fast, kind of looks like a Matilda. It's faster than a Matilda. I have one of these, and it's actually not so bad, but it looks so ridiculous that I like to make fun of it. How is he going to carry the stupids now? He has two kills. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, he's got another guy here. It's a, it's a Cromwell. Two, three. Oh! Boo-ha! I was just going to say, it's gonna, he's going to need more than one clip. But not if the turret flies off! Oh, yeah! In the beard, the beard, the beard, the beard, the beard, the beard. Yeah, the head is flying off in the turret. In the and now he can just auto lock. He's probably feeling so good. Oh, it's so much fun when you see the turrets flying through the air. Well, this guy is going to take more than one clip. <laughs> but now he has backup. He has an AT2 behind him. If this guy is foolish enough to poke around the corner, the AT2 will kill him. But remember, he must carry. 
the stupids in order to win. He must get the kills. More kills than his whole team combined. So why not take him at all? Oh! oh, look at this. There's a, a heavy tank has somehow just snuck up there in the open, undetected until he came around the corner. So why not empty his clip on him and miss his last shot? But alas, when you are entered in an episode of Carry the Stupids, it is not just your team that is filled with complete, utter, total Muppets. Sometimes the enemy team has an equal amount of Muppets, uh, including this player here in this heavy tank who has no idea that there is an enemy behind him, shooting him over and over. The same guy that shot that dead teammate that you were wedged up against. <laughs> Situational awareness. It takes a while to master that. <laughs> There's the turret, the Cromwell turret. Everything seems to be working out. Who cares? If he loaded in late, he's got some kills now and his team is winning. Things are looking up. <laughs> that was a fun little flurry. Fun little flurry. I like that. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I love these carry the stupids episodes, you know. Uh, you guys send it in. You want to be a contestant. Uh, actually, I just pick them randomly by watching the games. But sometimes, sometimes... It, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, it's not always a victory. Uh, the, the contestants don't always win. Sometimes they try to carry the stupids and they fail. They only get seven kills or they lose the game. I think one guy got ten kills once but lost. Therefore not winning carry the stupids. And now this looked like a sure victory. What is happening here? Hmm, his Matilda is way back there. His M4 is way back there. His SU-100Y is way back there. And he's got an AT-2 beside him, who is not going to go anywhere fast. And he's pinging the map. Uh, do you think anyone is going to move up and spot? It looks like there's a cluster of enemies in the north. Oh, and there's a T-67 way up on the hill. I missed him. So they do have the enemies surrounded. A good team now would slowly move in together. They would close, tighten the noose, so to speak. They would each creep up from bush to bush on all angles, thus engulfing, encompassing the enemies and surrounding them. So they would get the enemies detected and in a crossfire. But alas, this is not a unit of ultimate unstoppable unicoms. Uh, this is more of an illustrious independent infusion of imbeciles. Uh, Trying to work together, but they have no clue. And he's taking a couple of shots on this guy. Oh, he did not get the kill. The AT2 got the kill. He only has... Uh, how many kills does he have? Well, he, he does not have enough. He does not have more kills than his whole team combined. And now he has no engine and not very much HP. And he's behind this rock. The T-67 is still on the hill. The M4 is the most exposed. He is driving into the lake. Out into the open, and he has died! Because driving into the middle of the lake is not a very good idea. And now the SU-100Y, seeing that the M4 was just destroyed, is moving to the exact same spot where the M4 was killed. And he, being a box tank and much bigger with less concealment, will probably meet a similar fate. Ah! It's getting very interesting now. Oh, the SU-100Y has stopped. He has stopped. He's probably scoped in and looking at that M4, the dead guy. Here's the T-67. He can move down this way. Watch the minimap. I'm drawing it here. Maybe learn a little bit about the game. Don't go that way because you'll get killed. Come down and use the terrain to sneak up. If you missed that, rewind about 15 seconds of this video and look at the minimap. I tried. I tried to put something in this video that might help you in your gameplay. I've divulged a secret of the end game on this map after you take the hill. Don't just drive along the north border of the map and drive into the camping guys in the forest who can shoot you. Come off the hill and use the terrain to your advantage. Stay hull down. And our hero here has poked a couple of times and been spotted. Every time he pokes up like that, he gets spotted. So he knows that there are some enemies right around there somewhere. He can't see them. So when he pokes up, he gets spotted. So he's kind of pinned. No one on his team will move. Will the game just end? Will we run out of time? Well, let's watch. Oh, the AT2. Smartly, the, the T-67 
Tank with lots of armor has moved up and is doing some spotting. The assault tank moved up and assaulted the enemies. And that is good to see. It's so nice to see teamwork. And I think old Herbie here, uh, I can't remember your name, but I know there's an H in it, so I'm going to call you Herbie. I think he was smart enough to wait for that AT2 to move up. He knew that the tank with lots of armor and HP, well, he doesn't have a lot of HP, but he has lots of armor. That tank could move up and he moved up in the low ground, which was smart. The rest of the teammates, the SU-100Y has moved up a little bit. The Matilda is moving up. Everyone, now the noose is tightening. The, 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 the jaws are closing. The, uh, the uh, whatever, you know, it's happening right in front of your eyes here. And should he move up? He is not spotted. Now his sixth sense is not going off, so, but he is still being a little tentative. You're not, oh, there's the, he gets the shot. He gets the shot and he's up to seven kills. I'm doing some uh, quick math here and he needs, Oh, his teammates got that one. There's one enemy left. It looks like a sure victory, but he's going to need to get one more kill in order to get more kills than his whole team combined. If they win the game, he will not have successfully carried the stupids. He needs to get one more kill. Will he get the kill? He's got three shots in the clip. He's a four-shot autoloader, but he's got three shots loaded. He's not going for the reload. He's scurrying in there now as fast as he can. He does not have a lot of HP. And now the team, they're swarming in like vultures, like, like crazed lunatics. The time for teamwork is over. It's every man for himself now. And here he goes. He's, he's missed his first shot. He's got his second one, and he's going to do it. Yes, he got the M3 lead before the M3 lead drowned himself. TBHS underscore two. You are a winner. You have won lots of medals and you have carried the stupid. You have more kills than your whole team combined and you've won the match. You have carried the stupid. Thanks, Bob. All right. We're pretty lucky after you loaded in late. Uh, he did pretty good. And you are driving a tank with a ridiculous name. Okay, let's wrap it up. So you've got a chair right now that's called a Bodu. Bob, that's a simple name. Uh, who the hell came up with the name for that tank you're driving? Bob, we're done. It's over. Well, it doesn't really matter. Bob, it's over. But the music's not over, so why should we end it now? Uh, let's keep it going. Just fade it out. Because why not? All right. Oh, the music's over. It's done now, okay? Well, I guess we'll end it now. Yeah, uh, thanks for all your work. I enjoy doing this, even though I don't get anything for it.